I felt like I had this deep, dark secret that eventually would be found out. In high school is really when the depression started as well. I started just getting these dark moments uh, within my life and I wasn't really able to connect the dots. I had the weight of you know, feeling like I was the only Asian or Asian American and everybody was watching me. People just thought that because I had this smile um, that everything was fine and that I was good um, when that was not the case at all. I felt, a, you know, a tremendous amount of shame around, you know, this these episodes and the fact that I had to go to therapy um, and the fact that, you know, I, I was being put on medication. The more I talked about it with people um, and with you and, you know, my friends and my family, the more I realized actually everyone is going through their own journey. I think that we look at healing as something that it's like a video game, right? Like you got to complete a level. But I, my, my, my therapist was like, that's, she, she was like, that's not the way to look at it because it's a constant process, right? And it wasn't until a couple years ago that I started understanding that Mexican is iconic, claiming heritage, uh, Hispanic is beautiful. And now all of a sudden my self-image is repeating those things. Having a parent that genuinely listened to me is is what changed things for me. It's what really made <laughs> me you're crying, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> the real question people should not be asking is what's wrong with this child, what's wrong with this kid, why they can't they behave and why? But what happened to them? What happened to you? And teaching from that point of view. And essentially, we're all living with this stress. Our goal, we're going to change culture. 